Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Mr. Linguist. I am making this video on the request of Mr. Rohel. Please comment down the name of the topic if you want me to make video on it. So subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you could get the latest updates. This video is about the types of allomorph in which we discuss all the four types of allomorph. Likewise, additive allomorph, irreplaceable allomorph, supplative allomorph, and zero allomorph. What are additive allomorphs? Additive allomorphs are used to signify some difference in meaning. Something is added to a word. The past tense form of most English verbs is formed by adding the suffix "-ed", which can be pronounced as "-t", or "-d", or "-id". The term additive is self-explanatory. That something is added to a word in order to show some difference in meaning. So the preferred example I took for the edit volume of is ed morpheme, which is added to most of the English verbs in order to make their second form. When we add this morpheme like ed, then we come to realize that there are three different sounds we are producing for one same morpheme like ed. So when you add ed, with most of the English verbs, then you may hear the sounds like t, d, or id, as in the verbs like asked, lived, and needed. In the word asked, you may realize the sound t at the end of the word. Similarly, in the word lived, you may realize the sound d at the end. And in the word needed, you can realize the sound id at the end. So these are the variations of morpheme ed. So all the English verbs, especially second verbs or second form of first verbs, have the sounds like t, d, or id. Meanwhile, you can hear the sounds t, d, or id at the end of these verbs. Coming towards the replacive allomorph. Replacive allomorphs are used to signify some difference in meaning. A sound is used to replace another sound in a word. The sound I in drink is replaced by the A in drank to signal the simple past. So in replacing velomorphs, we use a sound to replace another sound in a word in order to signify some difference in meaning. Like we do replacement of sounds as in the word drink and drank. The word drink is verb in figure parts of speech which has its simple past form as drank. So the sound I is replaced by A in order to show some difference in the meaning or in the function of the word. So drink is the first form of the verb, drank is the second form of the verb. So whenever or wherever one sound is used to replace another sound in order to show some difference in the meaning, then you will say that the function of replacement has happened here. So there are many more words like drink and drank. Moving towards the suppletive allomorph. The process is called suppletion. Suppletive allomorphs are used to signify some difference in meaning. There is a complete change in the shape of a word. Like the sub function of suppletion is merely to signify some difference in meaning. So when you add a suppletive allomorph, the word will completely change its shape. Let's look at the examples of suppletive allomorph. Go is the verb. It is the first form of the verb. So when we make the second form of the verb go, we don't make god like g-o-e-d. But we make went because the process is of suppletion. And these words cannot take ed at the end for making the second form or third form. So go is the first form and its second form is the went and the process here is the suppletion. So we will say that for making second form and third form of the verbs like go, we have to perform the functions of suppletion. Same is the case with good, which is positive degree. When we add suppletive alum of er in order to make the comparative degree, it becomes better but not gooder. Why? Because again, here the process is of suppletion. And when we make the sup uh, super superlative degree of good, it will be best, but not goodest. So these are few exceptions 
for making the words with that completely different meaning. Now we are moving towards the last type of allomorph which is zero allomorph. Zero allomorph is the term given to the unit involved when a morpheme change status from one type of morphemes to another without any condition or subtraction of its parts. The most popular example for zero, zero allomorph is the sheep singular and the sheep plural. So when there is no change in the word but it is performing different function or it has different meaning then we will say that the zero allomorph is added. As in the example of the word sheep which is singular and also it is plural with the same shape of the word. So it depends upon the function of the word of this word which it is performing in the sentence. Like we will identify it with the subject verb agreement that whether it is plural or singular in the sentence. If it takes plural verb then it will be plural noun. If it takes singular verb then it will be singular noun. So thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and comment me down the topic you want me to make video on it. Also hit the bell icon so that you could get the updates of the videos you are requesting me to make. So thank you and Jazakallah.